Hi, I'm Dr. Raphael Darvish with Skin Impeccable Dermatology and Cosmetic Laser Center here in Los Angeles, California, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to care for a skin burn. There are three types of skin burns, a first degree, a second degree, and a third degree burn. First degree being the most basic, third degree being the most uh, severe. This particular video is going to be talking about how to care for a first degree, uh, just basic red skin burn a sec and a second degree burn, which is a skin burn that generally results in a blister. The third degree burns generally should go to the hospital, uh, to the ER, so if that's what you have, uh, stop the video and, and go to the ER. So, uh, you know, when you get a first or second degree burn, you want to immediately put it on a cold water, on a cold running tap water, wash it with a little bit of uh, soap and water, and uh, when you're done drying it, uh, go ahead and find an a, uh, antibiotic ointment like Neosporin or anything else, uh, any other triple antibiotic ointment you can find at your pharmacy, or even better, some Silvadine cream. Uh, generally, you can get it from your doctor's office. Put on a generous amount, and after that, you want to protect it uh, from uh, any bumps uh, by putting a Band-Aid on or by using some gauze and some tape to create an environment to allow it to heal more quickly. Now, if you have a second degree burn, you may have a blister. You want to make sure not to pop that blister uh, because by popping it, you can introduce some bacteria in there that would cause an infection and uh, then you probably need some antibiotics. So just protect it and it will heal. After you get a burn, you generally will have some pain. So taking a leave or some Tylenol, uh, that most definitely can alleviate uh, the, the, the irritation and the annoyance of having, of having that burn. Uh, anytime you have an injury, generally it's a common practice to make sure your tetanus vaccine is up to date. So if you haven't had a tetanus vaccine in the past seven years, very important to go to your doctor's office and get a tetanus shot. You'll apply the silvadine ointment and the antibiotic ointment and make sure it's protected with a Band-Aid or with a dressing over the following two to three weeks after your, your burn. Uh, at that point, uh, you won't really need to use those uh, ointments as much and you can transition yourself to a good uh, sunscreen with SPF 30 or more. Uh, generally, we like to use a sunscreen that is zinc or titanium oxide based as those offer the best protection. Sunscreens are important in the late phase of, uh, of burns because a lot of times uh, when, it's, when a burn is healing, there is some post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or some darkening of the skin and uh, sun will encourage that, uh, that post-inflammatory post hyperpigmentation to be more intense. So your, your scar will take longer to heal if you uh, put it in the sun. I'm Dr. Raphael Darush, and that's a brief overview of how to care for a skin burn. Thank you.